libraries to have this. It's open to all. This is the Democracy Forum. These, this equipment, these kinds of services can exist and do exist in several places on campus, but this is the only place where 24-5 and sometimes 24-7 people are, can come in here and use it. It's the nexus of information and technology, and to me, when you put those two together, you get innovation. There hasn't been a, a, a program and equipment available to all students campus-wide up until now, and that's that's really significant uh, and really exciting. And for all, I mean, that this is this is why they tie together innovation, entrepreneurship, and the makerspace. Well, Sal and I are really excited to be here today, and uh, I guess a little while back when Karen and Dean brought this up to us about the space, uh, it resonated right away. Um, I'm not I'm not the type of person that may be the one who would use a maker uh, or a three D printer, uh, but from my experience in life, I just thought the idea of the maker movement is just a, greatest opportunities and the transformation that we face right now and ex exposing that to a broader population through the library and this collaboration space just immediately struck a chord when I, I saw what, you, what was happening here. So we're really happy to be able to support this and uh, we look forward to great success in the future. Thank you. Make it easy. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? like them that really help us realize our vision for how we how our students and faculty succeed. And it's the only way that we can do these things is through these kinds of people helping in this way and sort of getting our message and then taking